In this video, you will learn how to let users select a membership plan from the checkout page. So we'll begin from the WordPress dashboard and let's go to profile press on the left, then settings. Now you'll need to have payment setup and I'll leave a link in the description to videos where you'll learn how to set up various payment methods. So right now I'm going to go to the payments tab at the top and from there I'll go to payment methods right below. Okay, and here we have a number of different payment options to choose from. For our example, we'll be using Stripe, so I'll click on this link to configure its settings. Now let's check this box to enable Stripe and we'll scroll down and we'll click on Save Changes. Alright, so once that's done, we can now go to Membership Plans on the left. So here we can see that I have three plans, Silver, Bronze and Pro. I'll show you how to add a new one and then we can go ahead and create a group. Now let's click on Add New Plan. And on the next page, we are going to go ahead and give it a name. Let's call this one gold and let's add a random description. That's fine. Now we don't really need a purchase note, but you can add one if you want to. And for user role, we're going to keep this default option. Let's move down to set the price. We'll make this one $3.99. All right, so we'll keep our billing frequency as monthly and our subscription length. We'll keep this as renew indefinitely until member cancels. We don't need a sign up fee, so we're going to keep this as zero. And maybe as an example, we can go ahead and set our free trial period to about three days. All right, so our settings are good so far. We don't need to configure any downloads and integrations. We can scroll up and click on save plan on the right. And we'll go back to membership plans. And we can now see the gold plan that we just added. Now, before adding groups, we need to configure some settings that determines how Profile Press handles upgrades and downgrades in terms of payments. So on the left, we'll go to settings payments, then we'll scroll down to proration method. Right now it's set to cost based calculation. And this means that if there's an upgrade, the user will pay the difference between the current plan and the new plan. There is also an option for a time based calculation. And with this one, the cost will be adjusted based on the amount of time remaining on the current subscription. Okay. So we'll keep this option and we'll save our changes. Once it's saved, we'll go to membership plans, then groups. Now we'll add a new group and we'll call it newsletter subscriptions. All right, so now we'll use the next field to go ahead and choose the plans that we want to include in our group. In this case, we're doing gold, silver and bronze. Now we'll go ahead and save our group and we'll get this checkout URL that we can copy and use anywhere on our website. So I'll quickly demonstrate this by adding a new post and I'll call it test and I'll add a quick button and let's just say subscribe now. And now we need to add our link. So on the right hand side, we'll go to the link tab. I'll paste the link and set it. All right, now let's go ahead and publish our page. We'll click on the publish button. Okay, and now we can go ahead and visit our website in a new incognito window. So we'll click on subscribe. And there we have our checkout page with our subscription group at the top. So now we can go ahead and choose a plan. Let's choose silver, but we can see that this is $0 monthly and this must be an error. So we'll go ahead and make that change quickly. So I'm just gonna go back to WordPress. I'll just slide back over. So we'll go back to our dashboard and we'll go to profile press and I'll change the price from $0 to something like $1.99. All right. So once that's done and it's saved, we can go back to our website. Let's refresh. Here's the change. Now let's choose a plan and fill out this form off screen. And once we're done, we'll click on subscribe. Here's our order confirmation. Okay, so I'll show you what it's like if you're in your account and you choose to upgrade your plan. Let's go to subscriptions and let's say we want to upgrade our plan from bronze to gold. We'll go to view subscription, change plan, click on OK. And that will take us back to our checkout page where we can go ahead and select a different plan. So we'll choose silver and we'll also go ahead and check out with Stripe. And once we subscribe, we'll see our order confirmation where we can go ahead and view our receipt. All right, so thanks to our proration settings, we just paid a difference of $1 to upgrade to our silver plan. So now you should know how to let users select a membership plan at checkout. Thanks for watching and see you next time.